welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. I just kind of realized that I just started like YouTubing out of nowhere because of work and I never really did like a formal introduction. So people who didn't know me prior probably have like no idea where I come from or what I did or like who I am. So I figured it'd be fun to like or necessary just to sit down and kind of do an introduction video just to tell you all a little bit about myself if you literally have never heard anything about me never seen anything I've done and want to get to know me better so my name is Catherine Ellis my friends call me cat kitty cat dog dog kitten wild cat like literally every single nickname in the book is basically what I go by <laughs> I'm from Massachusetts. I grew up in the suburbs about 25 minutes north of Boston. So like I always think of like Boston as my home and I grew up there my whole entire life. I've lived in the same home literally my whole entire life with my family. I'm the youngest of three siblings. So there's my mom and my dad who are absolutely amazing. Like they're the best parents in the entire world. I'm, I can't even put it into words how incredible they are. And then we have my older brother who is four years older than me and then my older sister who is about three years older than me and then there's me and people always say like oh you're the accident but my parents say that I wasn't the accident so contrary to popular belief the youngest child isn't always an accident maybe there's lying to me I don't know I grew up doing like so many sports like literally every single sport in the book I was like a tomboy and a girly girl. I did hockey, ice hockey, softball, I danced, I did cheerleading, did acting and singing. I did a lot of theater when I was little. I did like singing lessons. I also did horseback riding when I was like really little. I did private lessons. And yeah, that kind of like describes me as a kid. I was like so, I just wanted to do everything all the time. And I ended up doing like kind of having to drop every single sport to do competitive cheerleading, which is all-star cheerleading. And if you know cheerleading, I cheered at East Celebrity Elite. I was on M5 and got to go to Worlds, which was like the coolest experience ever. If you don't know cheerleading, that's just like, it's the World Championships for cheerleading. So it's like a really big deal. But I feel like everybody knows once you do like a club sport or a select sport or select team, it's kind of hard to keep your other sports and keep your town teams involved. So I had to drop all of my other ones to pursue that. So that basically like took over my life for so many years, which was crazy, but it like totally shaped me into the person I am today. After high school, I went to the University of Alabama for a year and then ended up transferring to Boston University. I really wanted to go to like a Southern school with sororities and Greek life and just like a huge party scene in a big football school and I really thought I was gonna love it there and honestly I did like it was incredible but I just felt like I never really fully fit in there like I am a Boston girl at heart I'm a city girl at heart and something about it like I always just kind of felt like an outsider and also I really wanted to get involved with sports media and I have so many connections here for hockey in the Northeast my dad was a hockey goalie for Boston College and my brother was the captain of Harvard's hockey team. So just like through my family and me playing for eight years, we just have so many hockey connections in the Northeast that I kind of had a moment of realization like, oh, I wanna work in sports media. Sports is all about connections if you wanna work on the media side or the management side. So I had no connections in the South, especially with like football. So I kind of realized that it wasn't going to benefit me going to Alabama and living there for four years when I knew I could transfer to a school in the Northeast and get that experience. So that's exactly what I did. I transferred to Boston University and I became the manager of the men's hockey team there, which was absolutely crazy to say the least. I managed 30 D1 hockey players by myself. It was absolutely insane. After knowing them for like a month, I went to Ireland with them for a week over Thanksgiving. And then they slowly just became like my best friends. And that's like literally, I mean, my hoodie is VU hockey. That's like, describes my whole experience at VU it was just, I was friends with all the hockey. I managed the hockey team, friends with all the hockey players, and then ended up becoming the ringside reporter for the hockey players, which just means I was the on-camera reporter. And at the games, I would interview players and coaches before games, in the intermissions, and after games. 
and just do like fun videos with them and stuff for social media. So that was my whole experience at BU was completely taken over by the hockey team, but it was amazing and I loved it and that's like always what I wanted to do. Well, I guess I should say I met my boyfriend in college, Jake Wise. It's funny because we actually grew up like two towns over from each other and we never knew it. Like we literally live at home. Our homes are like 15 minutes apart and we just never knew each other growing up. And then when we met in college, we had so many mutual friends and we were like, wow, this is crazy. And I actually found out that I had gone to one of his high school hockey games and just didn't know who he was. And I just like went as a fan, which was so funny, but He's incredible. He's like the best, sweetest guy ever. I'm sure he'll be in a lot of videos whether he wants to be or not, considering my work really wants me to vlog a lot. So that's what I'm doing here. I never, ever had intentions of like doing YouTube videos a lot, but my new job, which I'll get into, really wants me to. So that's like why I'm here. But like, it's so fun too, so why not? college I feel like a lot of people expected me to go and try to work in the NHL or try to work for an AHL team and I did want to for a while but after like two years of being the ringside reporter I kind of realized that it's not as ideal of a job as everybody thinks it is it was super cool having the relationship I did with the players the coaches the organization and like the job itself was super cool and super fun and never really felt like work but it takes away like your whole life. Like I feel like with jobs like that, there's really not a good work-life balance. It's like your whole entire life is dedicated to that team, that organization. Your weekends are taken away because that's when their games are. You're always working nights and it's a very hard industry to make it in. So if you're not like 100% all in on it, you're not going to make it that far in the industry and be super successful in it. And I think that was just kind of like how I had the realization that I wanted to try to step away from it and go in a different direction with my media. Yeah, and also I, I don't know. I, I really don't know what like the transition was. It just kind of happened gradually over time and I was like, I wanna try more personality type stuff because I have such an outgoing personality and it got really suppressed when I was doing side reporting. It was super like, hey, let's talk about the stats of the game. Like, what do you guys need to adjust in the third period? And I'm like, I want to like be friends. Like, I want to show these personalities and stuff. I've always loved sports documentaries and like showing what athletes and people are really like beyond their performance on a field or in an arena. So that's kind of what like leveraged my love for Barstool Sports. Barstool Sports was created in Massachusetts by Dave Portnoy and all of the original people with the company are from Massachusetts. So I've known about it for quite a long time. I actually have a friend who was one of the early employees of the company as well, who he's been working there forever. And that's just kind of how I got introduced to Barstool Sports. And I just like loved the voice that they had. Like they were super into showing what the personalities of players are really like and it like wasn't sugar-coated it was truthful and honest and organic and that's what like drew me into barstool and so i was like wow they're like letting players talk about their social lives they're swearing like they just don't care and i was like this is so cool because like with traditional media outlets and specifically sports media outlets everything's so filtered and it's just like not real like I knew so many things going on behind the scenes that they like wouldn't let me talk about on camera on real sports media so at Barstool was just like the place I always was interested in always wanted to try to get a job there and created the show Chicks University which you may or may not have heard of but I hope you have and that show just came with my mind realizing like when I was trying to find a college to go to or even trying to find a college to transfer to there was like no real resources that were truthful and organic and really showed you what the schools were like and even when I was going on tours like they would sugarcoat them and make them seem so perfect and show you all of the stuff that looks good on paper but I'm like yeah what's where's the stuff that I actually want to care about where's the stuff that's actually going to impact my college experience and that's like how I came up with the idea for Chicks University it's just 
everything you need to know about college and like life outside of college when you're just around the age of your 20s completely unfiltered the truth the good the bad the ugly the honest that's what I wanted this show to be and I started it on my own and then ended up pitching it to Barstool and they picked it up and which was just like the most amazing thing ever it was the best feeling ever and because I literally created it for Barstool I wasn't gonna bring it to any other network it was never a question I never pitched it to any other media company or network like I was like, this is a Barstool show. They're going to be the ones that help me execute the show the right way, the way I really want to do it. So I just packed up my life and I was like, okay, let's try it out and move to New York City. This, when did I move? I started work June 1st this summer. And so now I'm on my second month, which is crazy and as of right now it's a three month internship I have a three month internship with all the other interns who are all social interns or production which basically means they like help run the accounts or they help edit videos and produce shows and brand stuff we'll see how it goes so hopefully everybody out there loves Chicks University and me and my brand and my content and it continues to do well yeah a little bit about like that's like the history of me I feel like my personality if you're an astrology person I'm a Pisces I am so bubbly like outgoing I feel like I'm always like the life of the party even though I don't really go out like a ton anymore I still am like love to have fun when I am out and I'm just people always say that I could talk to a wall like I genuinely just love talking to people and communicating them with them which just makes it seem like so right that now I'm in the industry that I'm in because it's literally my job to just talk to people and bond with them and communicate with them which is so perfect um I'm living with two girls that I didn't know before coming to New York City and I literally love them like they're so cool they're the the nicest girls ever. I'm like so thankful that they reached out and asked me to live with them because we just get along so well and now they're like actually my friends and they're awesome people which is incredible. I'm so lucky and I absolutely adore them. My personality type I think comes from like growing up. Like some days I'll wear like the girliest outfit and then some days I'll wear like a super street style tomboy outfit and it's literally just depends on the day of the week like I bounce back and forth I can't pick an aesthetic to save my life <laughs> and so that's like my style just changes day to day I don't have one type of style like if you look at my Instagram you're gonna see my style come out and it's like it's all over the place but you know that's kind of me as a person so it's fine. like that's just what we deal that's how we are and it shows in my style yeah I'm a super like caring and loving person I always put other people's like wants and needs and happiness before myself sometimes a little more than I wish I did but I guess that goes into like me being a Pisces I guess that's how Pisces typically are it's just like I'm such a caring person it's like I love so hard and expect so much from people that like it's hard for me to let people into my circle because I once I do I expect so much from them because that's what I give other people so it's like I have my circle and like I hold them so tight because I give them like everything that I have and yeah that's just like how I am with relationships with people I just like genuinely want everyone to be happy like I'm not even somebody I don't get mad like I really don't if I get like hurt by a situation or something I typically just like remove myself from it I'm not a conflict person I'm not a confrontational person I genuinely just want like everybody to always be happy if people aren't getting along it just like makes me sad and I'm just like just get along I have food allergies I have anaphylactic allergies to tree nuts and sesame so I have a lot of dietary restrictions and in addition I just don't eat dairy it upsets my stomach and gives me a stomach ache and I get like gas pains from it so I don't eat dairy by choice but I have really bad food allergies so while I'm in New York City if you have any food allergy recommended places places that are really good about food allergies please slide into my DMs and tell me because I'm always on the hunt for new places to eat and some restaurants aren't good with like cross contamination and just being able to certify that they are safe with allergies so if you have any send them my way please I guess that kind of describes me as a person I don't really have like a favorite TV show I kind of just 
like watch Barstool's content and see what they're doing and stuff because that's my company right now so I'm like studying them and learning from them. My favorite type of music, I like all types of music. I like country music, rap, like it literally depends on the time of day and the day of the week and that it, that's what determines my mood. I don't really know what I like to do for fun. I really don't have time to have fun. <laughs> like I just work all the time because I really want to be successful with my job and my brand in, in this industry. But like it's so fun, it doesn't feel like work. So I feel like my fun is creating content that people love and trying to like put everything into my brand. But I probably go out like once a week to like a bar and I only like to go to like dancey places. Like not house music that's just like beats per minute that's like boom, boom, boom. Like I like places that plays like Drake or Kanye West or Justin Bieber. Like those are my vibes. It's like when I can dance and know the song that's my type of place. I feel like that's literally like everything that's gonna describe me as a person. That's all I can think of right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this little get to know me. I hope you love all of the videos on my channel and all of the videos that come out on Chicks University. And Chicks University isn't hosted on my channel anymore. It is exclusively on the Chicks YouTube channel. So if you wanna check out my show with Barstool Sports, go to the Chicks University YouTube channel and all of my videos are right there. Hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. I wanted to do a weekend vlog that's like a weekend in New York City this weekend. And my Friday basically just started off in like the most my life fashion ever. So I was like, I'm just gonna start it now. I was on my way to work and this was like no joke. The first day since I started working here, I was scrubbing, like wearing like a hoodie, leggings, like and just you know being comfy because i wasn't doing any filming today i was just editing catching up on editing and i'm literally on the bus on my way to work and already one stop down i get a text from one of my bosses that's like hey can you shoot a promo for us today and it's like a big promo for a really big new project that our company's doing. So I was like, oh my God, of course. Like I really wanted to shoot the promo, but I was like, wait, is my face gonna be in it? That's what I responded. And he was like, yeah, LOL. Like, is that a problem? Because I'm like, that's literally my job is to be on camera. And <laughs> he was definitely so confused. And I was like, yeah, this was just the first day I decided to scrub. So I'm gonna have to go back to my apartment and get ready and then I'll be in and he was like dying laughing and he was like okay that's fine so now I'm absolutely bombing to get ready and <laughs> I didn't even put on like a self tanner like nothing like we are truly just winging it so this is a true weekend in my life really <laughs> so enjoy why does this always happen to like it's like the one day you don't look good, like the love of your life walks in, or like you know how people are always like, make sure you dress good every day, so like in case you die, so that your forever outfit is cute. Like I don't believe that. I think when you're in heaven, you will be able to wear whatever you want. Like Donatella Versace will be dressing me every day in heaven. Thank you. But now it's a life lesson. Like you actually have to look good. I have to make myself look good every day. No days off no hoodies and sweatshirts even though every single day I dress up and I look at people at work in hoodies and I'm jealous of them now I know you just no days off okay I'm ready to go again part two I have this little dress on and a hoodie because the office is always so cold and I'm gonna run there because I need to be there now start to my weekend was a little crazy as you saw but I just like felt like I should start that video because it was like honest and it just showed like what it's actually like um at my job so um welcome to my weekend it is currently friday night and it's 7 55 on a friday night and i just got takeout i got ruby's cafe it's my favorite place there's i think there's three locations in manhattan and i get the beyond burger with sweet potato fries and it's just like to die for but both of my roommates went out and I just like I don't have it in me I just like I worked such a long day today and I'm tired and 
the NHL draft is on. <laughs> so I'm like, priorities, like, go out, like, yeah, that could be fun. Or I could stay in, eat a Beyond Burger with sweet potato fries and watch the NHL draft. So, this one won. <laughs> Actually, I have some friends coming to New York tomorrow. Some of my guy friends from BU are coming in because I think it's it's one or two of their birthdays and they wanted to come to New York just to like celebrate to do a fun trip together. And of course me in my home in my apartment is going to be location meetup. I feel like throughout the week the apartment just like accumulates mess because we all work and like leave the house in a rush and stuff and like I just throw my clothes everywhere when I'm getting dressed. I'm so bad. I don't put them back like I should but I I don't I just throw them everywhere and then I clean my room at night so I was just like I'm tired I'm hungry I don't have food so I'm just gonna stay home and hold the fort down while you girls go have fun call me if you need anything I'm just gonna clean the apartment basically like I already cleaned the whole kitchen the dishwasher's running if you can hear that I have candles going like it's just a good ambiance and I'm gonna finish cleaning my room and watch tv the whole entire night tomorrow morning i'm gonna wake up i think i'm gonna work out go kitty we'll see we'll see i want to work out and then i want to go to the grocery store to get my groceries for the week because i'm kind of out of food and i want to get stuff because we're hosting a pregame here tomorrow night for all of our guests like my roommate has a friend coming there's just gonna i feel like there's gonna be a lot of people here tomorrow like more than we expect so i want to get like cups and paper towels and just like everything you need to host a bunch of 20 something year olds it's not that hard but i just want to do that in the morning i need to self tan tonight that also like girls you know like you got it you got to plan out your schedule on that so i couldn't go out tonight and then self tan tomorrow morning and then go out being tan like it just wouldn't work so this is gonna be our night the draft is on so i have to go but this is my friday night it's lit though like don't be fooled i'm having so much fun Good morning guys, good morning, good morning views, good morning. I fell asleep so early last night, like literally five minutes after I got into bed, like I just put my phone down and went to bed, but I'm so excited for today, I have some friends coming into town, I basically just like cleaned the whole apartment last night like and then watched she ate dinner and went to bed so exciting but yeah i just made breakfast i'll show you my breakfast it's so good this is my go-to breakfast it's basically like a healthier version of avocado toast it's a tomato basil rice cake and then an avocado and then spinach or arugula or both and then i just put an egg on top and it's just to die for it's basically like i always loved avocado toast like for breakfast so it's basically like a healthier alternative to avocado toast on bread we're gonna get the day started i laid out all the cushions we have like a patio with a bunch of cushions and i laid them all out because I it rained last night there was like a weird like yesterday evening there was a weird rainstorm out of nowhere so I just laid them out so they would dry because we have friends coming over later so I want it to be all dry for everyone as you can probably tell I got my tan going on I also just ran to the supermarket and got groceries got some groceries to start the week so i was like i'm really not gonna want to do this tomorrow i just know me so i'm sitting on my floor because my tan is very active and oh i went to starbucks and now i'm on my like hourly facetime call with jacob yep <laughs> jake just went to the pool jake go to the pool i went swimming what else are you doing today i have no idea probably go golfing What's your weekend vlog, Ben? My weekend vlog? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't really do any. Yesterday, I did nothing. Today, I woke up thinking I was going to do nothing, but then I went to the pool with the girls, and now I'll probably do nothing. Nice. Tomorrow, I have no plans either. <laughs> <laughs> That's the update, and we'll see each other in three weeks? Yes. Three weeks. Three weeks. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Hello.
Hello everyone! I've just showered as you can see and now I'm eating before I go out which is so important. I feel like it's so normalized in college to like not eat before you go out so you look skinny. Like don't listen to people that do that. Don't do that. It's so bad for you and it's just like literally dangerous so I'm eating. I made a veggie burger and I'm having it with um, some lettuce and guac. I wish I had ketchup, I'm out of ketchup, but I get scared bringing my camera out because when I get drunk, all I do is film. And then I wake up with like two hours of footage and it's all from that night. You know what else is funny is I just had one of those like full showers. Like I think it's so funny how girls have like basically like two different showers and it's like you basically either have like a body rinse or you're doing a hair mask then getting in there then shampooing then blondes or purple shampooing and then full body exfoliate full body shape full body moisturize then you're conditioning so and just have one of those which is great And we're hitting the town, baby. I got home to Boston and we're having dinner at dad's office because I need to get ready and I didn't want to go all the way home. So we decided to just have dinner at dad's office and then I'm going to go in the bathroom and get ready to go out. <laughs> And like it sounds so dumb, but I legit love driving around blasting music So getting to drive around and just play music like I just had the time of my life like nobody broke my heart I swear but like Olivia Rodrigo is just goaded. That's all I'm going to get my hair done last night was fun and Yeah, I'm going to get my hair done with Miss Ashley Piazza because these roots are tragic, honey. Oh, here we go tragic so she's gonna go fix me up because it's desperately needed Ashley she does it again wow Ash is moving too where are you going your salon oh, JC salons in Burlington Mass Ashley Piazza hair by Ashley Piazza if you want to have ice clean hair yep Hit my girl up. So beautiful. Yep. So perfect. Yep. The weirdest night was when I was sick to my stomach at this house. Went to bed at six o'clock at night. You threw up over the desk. In your bed. I just was like, and I scored you guys in that go good night. Ooh. Little fam den. Cheeseburger. <laughs> and some pickles. I love pickles yep. so much. Julie, what are you eating? Yeah, Harvard. I never did. I don't know if that's the thing. Really? Thing in Harvard? What's that called? In um, Chicago tomorrow, and the Foo Fighters are the headliner. The Foo Fighters? Are you jealous? The fighters of the Foo? So jealous. <laughs> She's jealous of you, Jake. I told him that. When I talked to him. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. I am starting my Sunday off with a little motorcycle run with dad. I've never been on a motorcycle before, so this should be very interesting. Happy Sunday. I'm great, how are you doing? 
Okay. Good, thank you. Um, can I just have a cold brew with oat milk, please? Yes, of course. Just give me a second. What size is it? Um, I'll get a venti, please. I'll do a, va a venti iced coffee with oat milk and three pumps of sugar-free vanilla. I just got ready so fast for my friend's baby shower, and I'm sorry I didn't film it, but I ha it was like one of those like get ready as fast as you can. I'm wearing this little pink dress. It's from Zara. I just got it this summer, so they should still have it. Yeah, baby shower vibes. Let's go shower this baby.